audition for Ozzy before uh, before Randy joined the band back in the late 70s or early 80s and you also auditioned after Randy's passing and uh, can you tell me a little bit about his audition for Ozzy and did you ever play any live shows with him or did you just go on the road with him? Yeah, everything you said was was uh, was accurate. Um, okay. Um, and as far as the shows, uh, no, I never played a show. I played sound checks. <laughs> okay. So to see kind of what I would do, they I would travel with the band to kind of see how everything worked and they would get to know me and that kind of thing. But I never went on stage during a show. But I but I would be in the wings at sound check and then Brad Gillis, who was the guitar player at the time, would come over and hand me his guitar and I'd play a song or two. And um and then we went into rehearsals. I rehearsed with him. I brought in the bass player Don Costa. Yeah. Who was Ozzy's bass player for a little while. Yeah. And uh we rehearsed in Texas for a while. We did the touring was, was in Scotland and England and Ireland. And then uh, then we moved everything over to Los Angeles, and that's where I was told that uh, they wouldn't be needing my services in the 11th hour after I'd been working with them for, you know, a couple of months. Yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, oh well. <laughs> a few months ago, I got the chance to speak to Jake Lee, and according to his story, uh, he came in to audition for Ozzy. He kind of wasn't satisfied with that whole audition, and... Uh, you were there, you met him there, and uh, apparently when Ozzy asked him to, uh, when Ozzy asked him if he wants to take the gig, he said yes, and uh, according to what Jake said, you were fired on the spot in front of Jake. Is that story true? Yes. Yes, completely true. Yeah, I was very devastated. My wife was with me. Um, I had quit my job. We had two little kids. We had an apartment. We didn't really have much money, and so it was a great opportunity for me. And um, I was a I was a delivery driver for a liquor company. Yeah. And I would kind of deliver booze into the not so good areas. Nobody else wanted to drive into those areas, so I took that job. And uh, it was a good union job, and so I made enough money to support us. And I had to quit that job to go do the Aussie thing. Yeah. And uh, when they fired me like that. Uh, and they didn't pay me and they didn't give me any compensation. They didn't ask me if I was okay or anything. They just didn't care. They just said, it was literally like, it took like a minute. Ozzy just said, you know, uh, Hey, you know, it's not going to be working out. Thanks a lot for your time and see you later. Bye. <laughs> I might, my, my, yeah, my jaw dropped. I couldn't believe it. my just heart dropped. And yeah, I think I cried <laughs> yeah, okay. on the way home. That's messed yeah, up. It was very devastating. Yeah. Uh, but those were some really dark times, I mean, for Ozzy at least, and uh, we know what the stuff he did and everything. So what was it like during those couple of months there, spending time with Ozzy and Sharon? Was there any anything weird that happened? Well, I remember he was bald at the time, but he kept coming to my room and asking me why I cut my hair, because I had short hair for my job. Yeah. I told him, I, you know, but he was bald. <laughs> so I thought, well, maybe I could shave, maybe I could just go bald like you, and then we could do be a couple of cue balls up there, or I could wear a wig until my hair grows out. And he, he had a problem with that. So I, that was one of the reasons I think I didn't get it was my image. Jakey had a great image, hair down to his ass, showed up all leathered, you know. Yeah. He, he looked great. He, he admittedly didn't play that great, but um, but he looked fantastic. And I think Sharon was really calling the shots, and Sharon wanted somebody that looked right, and she felt that Jakey was the look they were going for, and she, I don't think she cared too much about the play. Yeah. <laughs> so, so but not that, that Jakey wasn't not that Jakey wasn't capable. Jakey's great, obviously. He just didn't have a he didn't have a great audition, but you know yeah. he's you know he played fantastic. You know. Thanks for watching, and if you want more music news, just subscribe to Ultimate Guitar TV and press that little bell to get notifications. <laughs>